Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Um, good afternoon to all those joining us by social media. Uh, and good afternoon to, to, to ladies and gentlemen and to uh, our, our leaders that are here. This morning, the Central Committee held uh, a scheduled uh, meeting, I think, for, for, for this uh, period. Um, I will invite the Secretary General, Honorable Rafael Nakachinda, to read the resolutions of the Central Committee meeting that was held today on 16th December 2023. Uh, Secretary General. Uh, thank you very much, uh, countrymen and women, youth and children, uh, the chairman of our party, uh, the chairman for information, members of Central Committee. Uh, today, the 16th of December 2023, the Patriotic Front uh, Party held a Central Committee meeting that was uh, chaired by the party president, Dr. Edgar Chagwalungu, who was also six, 60th Republican president. The party received a special report about the candidates for the upcoming ward by elections in Mayembe, ward in Shwangandu, in Kapamba, ward in Pika, and in Kayo ward in the Masabombe district. The Central Committee called on party members to turn up in large numbers to escort and support the party candidates on the day of nomination scheduled for Tuesday 19th December 2023. We are aware of the shenanigans, uh, some of which are being cooked up and spearheaded by ECZ and also the police intentions to try and intimidate our members. That will not be tolerated. Any attempt to truncate our democracy will not be tolerated. We will proceed as mandated by the law to making sure that that which is right is achieved on that particular day. The meeting was also updated about the legal cases prevailing in the course of law, a process to protect the legal ownership of the party against state-sponsored studios. The Central Committee has also extended in the interim the mandate of the structures affected in selected provinces whose term or had come to an end. This was to allow the Secretariat and mobilization teams to complete the current work and the audit of the membership. The Central Committee has since tasked the Secretariat to draw up an election calendar in the affected provinces. And President Rung has announced that he and the members of Central Committee will embark on a tour of party structures in the provinces, districts to meet and mobilize the party members. He called on members to prepare as members of the Central Committee visit their structures across the country. And in his opening remarks, the President, President Edgar Chagorun, called for unity 
and loyalty among members in the party. He said that the party was going through a difficult period which the leadership was determined to overcome with the support of not only the members of Patriotic Front across the country, but the Zambian people. For this fight, for the preservation of multi-party democracy, is not only a fight for Patriotic Front, but a fight for all Zambians. He urged members of the party to remain steadfast. President Wu also stated that it was now very clear that the attack on the Patriotic Front was a state-sponsored and state-orchestrated process attempting to supplant the leadership of the party. He bemoaned the fact that states and democratic institutions were being abused and forced to support illegalities. President Wong called upon the Central Committee and other senior leaders across the country to be steadfast and resist the evil agenda as he, this was an attack against democracy and the multi-party nature of Zambia. He said the leadership should enforce a sense of discipline, vigilance, especially during this period. President Wong also bemoaned the poor state of the economy the high cost of living that was affecting citizens adversely. He said there appears to be no government strategy policy to stem the high prices of minimum, fuel, electricity, and other commodities, and the volatility or volatile foreign exchange market. He encouraged the party to continue propagating alternative policies and remind Zambians of the party's good work while it held office and ran government. The contrast is very clear. The performance of UPND government and that of patriotic front runner government, people can go and uh, compare and contrast. Meanwhile, the Central Committee thanks the Tutuangulube family for standing firm even when it received tremendous pressure to cancel the memorial service for our brother. Now that the date has been set, the party leadership affirms its desire to attend the memorial when it comes up on the 23rd of December 2023. President Lungu stated that the party will always remember Honorable Tutu Angulube for his selfless leadership and his tireless commitment to the cause of Patriotic Front and the country. And therefore, we will continue to not only celebrate his life, but also the legacy left within the party and the nation as one of the patriots that graced the Patriotic Front as a politician. With that said, I want to thank you for listening and paying attention. God bless. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. That marks the end of our press conference. It was intended to communicate the resolutions of today's Central Committee meeting that was chaired by President Edgar Lungu. Members of the Central Committee, thank you. Thank you for supporting us during the delivery of this speech. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, madam. You can now go back to... All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.